If you depend on third-party tracking cookies to get information like user location, age, and browsing history to better target your ads, Google's upcoming 2023 removal could destroy all of that. But don't worry, as always, I have you covered. I'm Tori, and these are three easy alternatives that you can use to replace third-party tracking cookies. As always, if you want to learn more about marketing strategies to help you outperform your goals, click the link in the description for our state of marketing report. Now let's get into it. In its most basic form, online cookies are memory cards that are able to recognize online behavior and remember your actions. It goes like this. When you visit a website, the website puts a little cookie on your hard drive with its own ID number. That site then uses this cookie to keep track of your session. In this case, the session is defined as the complete website experience from start to finish. It'll do things like keep track of the items in your shopping cart, remember login info so when you close the page and come back, you don't need to re-enter it, and keep track of what items you've looked at to better serve you targeted ads. There are three distinct flavors of cookies. Session cookies are temporary and memorize your online activities. Persistent cookies are there to remember any preferences you make. And then there's what I like to call the creepy cookies, also known as third party cookies, AKA tracking cookies. These are the cookies your mother told you not to hang around. They collect various forms of data that are then passed on or even sold to advertisers by the website that created the cookie. They track your interests, location, age, and search trends. These cookies grab on the information that marketers then use to provide awesome custom ads. Hey, great for advertisers, but not so much for user privacy. When asked about the upcoming removal, 41% of marketers believe that their biggest challenge will be their complete inability to continue to track the right data. In a world where privacy is becoming king and 72% of Americans say they now feel anxious about being tracked online and what's done with their info, you'll need new trustworthy ways to both satisfy your customer's need for protection and meet your marketing goals. Here's how. Zero party data. Zero party data is data that a customer shares with a brand voluntarily. This allows consumers to make informed decisions about their information by knowing who has it and how the company will handle it. A great way to start collecting ZBD, yeah, we got an abbreviation now, is by offering quizzes. With quizzes, you can turn a humdrum dry zero data party collection into more of a game. By asking the user a collection of specific questions, you can target your product ad specifically to their needs. For example, Beard Brand has a quiz called What Type of Beardsman Are You? Users will answer questions like, what type of facial hair do you want? What's your hairstyle? At the end of the quiz, users receive what type of skin they have and an ad for the product that will work best with their type. With quizzes, users are basically giving marketers all the information they need to push them personalized ads and convert them into paying customers. Speaking of which, you can find five survey templates to start getting your quiz ideas flowing by clicking the link down in the description. Again, I got you. Our software is the worst. Have you heard of HubSpot? See, most CRMs are a cobbled together mess, but HubSpot is easy to adopt and actually looks gorgeous. I think I love our new CRM. Our software is the best. HubSpot, grow better. Next up, launch targeted ads on social media. If you're still wanting the ability to set hyper-targeted ads, social media ad tools are the way to go. They allow you to target promoted social media posts to other people in your industry, target demographic, or show similarities to your own page's followers. This allows you to still target campaigns based on things like location, industry, and age. Last up, the privacy sandbox. The Privacy Sandbox is designed to replace the need for old technology, like third-party cookies and advertising ID, with new innovations that keep your personal information more private, safe, and secure. By limiting covert tracking, it'll provide publishers with safer alternatives to third-party cookies. So you can continue building digital businesses while your customer's data stays private. It also blocks the use of device fingerprinting, a controversial, sketchy tactic that's often used as an immediate replacement to third-party cookies. Google has yet to really release anything other than a beta version of Sandbox, but when they make the official release in early 2023, it'll be as easy to use as a Chrome extension. To wrap it up, online cookies are necessary, but only work in moderation. Think of first party cookies as nutritious and delicious additions to any healthy browsing diet, making the internet user's experience simple and convenient. Third party cookies are the junk food that marketers need to start to wean ourselves off of if trust is, you know, like a big deal to you and your customers, which, which it is, or at least it should be. You can dive deeper into the death of third party cookies and what you can do about it by clicking the link below. Remember, this isn't just for giggles. Increasing privacy and security is an awesome way to promote an overall better user experience and it gives your business a higher chance of success every single time. As always, if you like what you heard and you wanna hear more, like, comment, and subscribe to hear more. Until next time, bye-bye.
end of the ad, users receive what type of skin they have and an ad for the product that best works best with their type, the best. Let's see if I can put one more best in there. 